This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV, and we're very pleased to be joined today by Matt Chernyativich, founder, and Gangandeep Singh, team engineer, Dynamic Protective Barriers, to get an overview of the DPB solution. Gentlemen, to start, can you give an overview of the company and your safety device offering to the maritime industry? Well, first and foremost, we would like to thank you, Greg, for the opportunity to be here today and present our new innovative safety solution, Dynamic Protective Barrier. To answer your question, we are a small group of innovators and engineers that saw the opportunity to improve the safety in the maritime industry. We developed a patented device called Dynamic Protective Barrier, which is a one-of-a-kind safety solution that disperses the kinetic energy at the point of impact in a safe manner. Greg, current methods used today, such as fenders, absorb and accumulate the kinetic energy at the point of docking, which further causes micro and macro damages to the port infrastructure and as well as the ship. Dynamic protective barrier not only protects the infrastructure of the ports, the ships, but most importantly, it improves the safety by containment of the, of the ship while docking. Matt, I noticed, uh, why do you call this the mul a multi-modular transportation device? While developing dynamic protective barrier, we recognize that our technology can be adapted to different industries where there is a need for disbursement of linear kinetic energy. To give you a few examples where our technology can be applied is the road safety industry, road barriers, highway barriers, and also the automotive industry and motorsports industry. Matt, you obviously founded the company. What did you see in the market that you thought was missing? What we've seen in the maritime industry that was missing is a solution to really enhance the safety and sustainability of the port infrastructure. The constant volume of docking and mooring of promotes deterioration and destruction. Therefore, there was a need for a new solution that contains the ship to promote safety and reduce the damages to the quay walls and the ship as well. Once, a great, once again, Greg, I would like to highlight traditional methods used today accumulate and absorb the kinetic energy on impact. And this is why our technology stands out and in our opinion is a game changer to the industry because of its disbursement capabilities. So Greg and Deep, while we have you on the line here, how specifically does this system work? So basically this device actually functions on a very simple concept of conversion of translational kinetic energy to rotational kinetic energy on the impact of the vessel. So when the boats are docking, the impact is usually translational kinetic energy. And if a device is installed over there, a device would channel this energy into rotational kinetic energy, thereby dispersing all the energy generated by the impact of the docking vessel. Now, one thing to notice is that our device does not absorb or store any energy. And this is possible by the use of interchangeable masses where the impact is dissipated in an instant time frame. And this can be catered to vessels of different masses and sizes, because if we increase the interchangeable masses, we can go higher up the ladder and go for vessels with higher masses and sizes. So basically we can uh, disperse energy from bigger vessels as well. Now, this device is also equipped with a self-returning system and is designed to engage and retract with the vessel constantly so that it stays in touch and actively dissipates any energy that is generated. I'm assuming that this is meant to be installed in existing infra infrastructure and knowing that no two installations are the same, can you walk us through the process from initial contract through a final installation? Yeah, for sure. So um, our device can certainly be installed with the current port infrastructure, as you mentioned. And uh, we have been fortunate enough to scope out some of the ports in uh, North America, South America, and Europe. Um, so basically, once we are given the contract, our team would reach out, uh, sorry, not reach out, it would reach the marina and examine the docking stations and the walls where the device is to be installed. Uh, once we inspect all of that, we'll then install our track system. So this track system is basically used to cater for the changing tide levels and helps move our device again up and down based on the changing tides. Uh, once this step is taken care of, uh, a fully manufactured and working device would then be brought to the marina for installation. It will then be fastened to the track system and it's ready to be used for dispersing the energy and 
it's as simple as it sounds. When you look at the market today, where do you see the best opportunities for the system in a maritime space? Matthew and I have had a lot of discussions regarding this. So we foresee this device being used at marinas and ports uh, where at this moment, smaller vessels are docked and we'll gradually be moving on to yachts and cargo ships because as I mentioned, our device uses these interchangeable masses which can cater to bigger ships, bigger vessels. Um, further, I think with the current focus on reducing the greenhouse emissions in the world, uh, and becoming more carbon neutral, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of marinas and ports are going towards that as well. And uh, to back this up, we are seeing a lot of electric powered boats coming into the market. Uh, probably not for the long run or not for like higher mileage, but, but they are coming into the market. So with that being said, we know that our device is capable of using the impact of the docking boat by converting the translational kinetic energy to rotational kinetic energy. Now, the beauty about rotational kinetic energy is that we can also use this energy to generate electricity by pairing it with a DC generator. If we do that, and with the focus now coming towards electric boats, those docking boats can be charged as well. So gentlemen, where are we today? Are there any uh, installations, either recent or ongoing, that you can discuss? Greg, we continue our own internal testing with a 25 ton vessel at a port facility in Europe. We are consistently testing the performance of the device to its optimum level. I would like to highlight that the same device has been used for testing since its inception, and we have yet to see any failures or damages to the device. Thanks to its simplicity of design, dynamic protective barrier is an efficient, sustainable solution. As Gagandeep mentioned, our device is equipped with a self-returning system, which will constantly work with the vessel and disperse the kinetic energy. We are looking forward to presenting this live simulation of testing in the next coming weeks. Um, I know we're still relatively early in the process, but what's next for the company and the technology? Greg, first and foremost, we are seeking to build an industry partnership that focuses on innovation and safety. Our device is currently in prototype stages. Therefore, we would like to collaborate further, test the industry standard requirements in a live setting. Our goal is to launch our device to the market where ports and marinas can experience the benefits from this new technology because we strongly believe we can make a difference in enhancing safety and bring substantial cost savings to the industry. We welcome the opportunity for continual research, growth, and development.